everyone. Uh, I welcome our uh, session speaker, Dr. Mukesh Zaveri, who is also the head of the department, Computer Science and Engineering at SPNIT Surat. He did his PhD from Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, in the area of video processing. He is the principal investigator for MIT research project on collaborative data processing and resource optimization for post-disaster management and surveillance using Internet of Things, which is sponsored by Ministry of Communication and Information Technology, Department of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India. He is also coordinator for Intel Multicore University program. He has many publications and is also a reviewer of reputed journals. I request Sir to enlighten us with his session. Sir, please. Hi, thank you very much for Swipin for invitation. So uh, it's a first lecture so of your STTP. So it will be a very basic things. I'm trying to cover it and make it more interactive, all the participants. So anytime anything is repeated or anything is boring, please inform me, okay, fine. I can change the content also. So the title of the topic is uh, like, okay, the talk is uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning. So nowadays, like, okay, fine. I, uh, I think I'm audible, right? Yeah? Yeah. Yes, sir, you and are audible. Slides are okay, fine. So everybody is talking about the artificial intelligence. So the idea is like, okay, fine. We want to create our expert systems. So basically what the expert system is doing. So we can say that like it is trying to learn something. Then like, okay, use the intelligence in learning. Then demonstrate through the nothing but the particular reasoning. And then like, okay, fine, solving the particular problem. So it is explain and the advice. So such task is possible as a part of the expert systems. So how they like, okay, fine, uh, the way like human intelligence can be embedded in a machine, that is nothing but a challenging task and that is a part of the nothing but uh, artificial intelligence. So we want to like, okay, the machine should also able to, okay, understand the things, then they like, okay, it should be able to think and the learn and then like, okay, fine, uh, provide the solution so it's behave like a human being dynamically like it should, it should provide nothing but the solutions to the different events which are happening okay and then from the event itself we want to learn these particular things so the like why i is not a particular one computer science discipline but we can say that it is an interdisciplinary things where biology psychology linguistic mathematicians and other engineering disciplines play a very important particular role so the idea is like, okay, fine. Uh, we want uh, artificial intelligence. That is the intelligence should be embedded in a machines in an artificial way. So it should be able to reason something. It should be able to learn something and try to solve the problem. So these three tasks, which human being is able to do it. Okay, fine, a very systematic way. Okay, fine, and how the dynamically it is learning it and that we want that thing. So the like, okay, the machine learning is nothing but a one way, like how we can, Okay, learn the uh, ask the machine to learn something. So and so that like okay, the intelligence can be embedded in a nothing but the machines. So that is nothing but a particular purpose. So few examples are there like okay on a uh, Google if you try to search something, the artificial intelligence is used to particular form the particular songs that is a heartbreak, and it is said that like okay the particular song words are nothing but picked up using a nothing but the artificial intelligence. So which makes the nothing but the particular songs very popular. Same thing like for the VCP, like okay, for the kitchen assistant, like the chef Watson, that is IBM product. Okay, fine. How the like okay, different ingredients can be mixed up and the new particular VCP can be prepared. And the liking and the disliking and the person to person, how the particular taste is very. So how the artificial intelligence will be useful to okay, find uh, prepare one particular VCP which is not existing, but like, okay, fine, mixing of the different ingredients in a pro proper proportion. And then considering the liking and the disliking of the particular human being, which help to like, okay, prepare the new particular disease. Same thing that the matport pain, we have tested and in a foreign countries also without the driver, like, okay, fine, how we can guide, navigate it. And then like, okay, fine, a lot of sensors are required, interacting, Profiling and then like what okay, is obstacle avoidance. Uh, sir, you are not audible.
the Amazon and the Flipkart also taking the images and then like, okay, similar product, you can find out. So it will help like the person if the person does not know exactly specification. So like, okay, you, okay, fine, uh, upload the particular pictures and then based on the pictures, you can generate the query. So the image based requirement and the video based requirements very challenging things. Even for the monuments, like okay, the history, uh, okay, fine, uh, persons who are interested, try to look into the different monuments and how these monuments are reconstructs and restorations. Okay, the digital humpy is a one particular good project for a part of that thing. So where they like, okay, fine, the artificial intelligence will help to find out okay, like, okay, what was there at that time and then how we can present it in a current scenarios and what is the value of that thing and how this particular art, okay, fine, is cultivated and they like, okay, it is evolved. So such kind of the understanding also can be created and the history can be like, okay, created. Okay, that is nothing but the walkthrough applications are nothing but the better examples of these things. So the idea is like, okay, fine, there are so many such applications are there like uh, on Mangalyan and the Chandrayaan, okay, how that particular images are captured through the nothing but the satellite and trying to identify is there any particular life existence is there on a, okay, Mangalyan and some like, okay, fine, uh, Similarly, like, okay, for the investment purpose also, they're like, okay, artificial intelligence helping how they like, okay, the market is driven by the different particular parameters and try to track those particular parameters in a very, like, okay, fine, a uh, typical way. And then like, okay, it should allow you to earn the more and more profit from your particular business. So it is either the share market or it is a business analytics or it is a predictions. So these are the nothing but like, okay, find a different particular application. So like a chat box, the particular optimization is used for the service provider, like, okay, the aircraft service providers or the like a bus service provider. Number of like a destinations are there. So from the source, how many particular vehicles or the aircrafts are required, which will try to cover the maximum destinations, maximum particular passengers can be serviced. And then like, okay, you can earn the maximum profit. So such kind of the optimization problem is possible with the help of the nothing but artificial intelligence. Your Excel sheet, like, okay, for the finance and the accounting can be also managed by the nothing but artificial intelligence. There are a lot of applications in terms of the like, okay, fine, a vision and the like, okay, the robots, which they have in a like, okay, the factory flow in a hotels or in a hospitals, like we're doing the some operations. So, Augmented reality, virtual reality, how the like, okay, the 3D modeling is done. So there is like, okay, find a very thin line compartment is there between the vision and the image processing and the computer graphics. And any application you take, this particular three fields are nothing but very much involved. And then you can have a nothing but a very extraordinary different applications are possible. So the robotics is a one particular type of these applications. So these are the nothing but some examples where the robots are used in a restaurant serving in a particular hotels, okay, fine, and so on, like, uh, so the point is like, okay, fine, how this particular, like, okay, artificial intelligence help in learn. such particular techniques are there which will allow you to explore the such kind of the intelligence or embed intelligence in a solutions. So the fuzzy logic, neural network, genetic algorithms, so and so on. So like, okay, find a few applications, like, okay, find from the net, if you try to search it, the how the particular artificial intelligence is so important and why the machine learning is so particular, like, okay, find a, a aggressive field nowadays. So this is a one typical particular way renowned companies there doing the business of banking and the finance and see the particular words like, so it is like, okay, fine. They are doing the macroeconomic and studying the conditions. They are looking at the nothing but a changing a market dynamics and then the, it is a customer focus and it is a data driven. So if you see these things, okay, I want to learn something from the market. I want to learn something from the data collected from the customer. It should be focused to the customers. 
depending upon the nothing but the strategy or the planning of the government or the different agency or the demand and the supply okay fine how the market is evolving and they like how the markets are behaving like okay fine i want to study such particular dynamics so that i can sustain in the market i can produce like okay fine publish the new particular scheme like a best example is a nothing but a, a different particular wealth management scheme run by the nothing but the banking sector or the financial sector so everybody is like saying that like okay fine we will double the money we will try to give the this much particular interest so what they have to manage somehow so how we can manage what particular wealth where you can invest so the mutual fund managers and so many other share brokers like how they particular do the study and the analyze and finally come up with a particular plan which is suitable to you like so the insurance company also trying to analyze a lot of things helping to the like okay natural disasters are there that the drones will be used and the big data analytics they are using it so see the like okay fine how the machine learning or the intelligence artificial intelligence will be helpful in such particular different fields like the media and entertainment how we can create a, a different particular ott series or the songs or the musics which are nothing but like okay fine okay fine artificial intelligence can be utilized for controlling and for automated the nothing but the my factory flow so that the smart manufacturing smart farming and so many other things are nothing but the coming up. so the engineering and the construction and so on like so these are the nothing but some little bit like okay fine uh, applications where the like okay artificial intelligence or the machine intelligence okay or human being how actually it is thinking about the different particular business and how the business can go up and that is the reason it's like okay the human intelligence will be very useful Algorithm. So why actually it is necessary? So the main first point is like whether human expertise is not there, like where we can exploit the nothing but the such computing power. Still, like okay, the God has gifted a lot of gifts to the nothing but the human being, and then we try to achieve that thing through the human uh, robots. But the idea is what okay, like okay, when human having also the some limitations that we want to like okay, when overcome with the help of the nothing but such kind of the robotics or the automated systems. So the like okay, the speech recognition, for example, face recognition. So even the minute change or the makeup or something like okay, the change in a tone or something, I should be able to identify it is the same persons. So either it is maybe the surveillance purpose, terrorist activities are there. So how the telephone like okay fine our voice will be recognized so the idea is what like okay a lot of such human intelligence that where the limitations are there can be like okay fine uh, my machines can be asked to learn and then it can provide me the some useful particular output so like for example it is a networks are there how do my packets will be routed in a nothing but a dense networks traffic congestions are there then the web personalizations now it's big thing like okay the happening things okay fine so the okay the how then I, my from the my particular input my particular feedback my particular data or events which particular pages i am trying to okay fine uh, look into and then like trying to view it okay fine based on a such kind of the history you try to provide me the nothing but a specific pages specific advertisement okay fine so the idea is what like okay every business is using the uh, the artificial intelligence to improve the relationship with the nothing but the customer also and that is the reason every day like okay you are trying to receive the number of calls like okay you want to take the loans because they are trying to get the some particular data in a form of a nothing but our credit card which where you we use okay fine in some particular transactions some kind of the 
like okay fine uh, data cheating is also done nowadays and the credit card information your account information are leaked and they try to uh, do the analytics on such kind of the data and uh, they try to like okay contact the customers and so on so the idea is what okay, like okay how from the like okay the my data or the events or the experience will help me to learn it so if you see the nothing but all the things happening in a life okay fine or day to day life okay fine always there is a nothing but a, some kind of the patterns will be there or the regularity will be there so what actually we want to do it like okay fine what are the events or the data or something like okay experience you have you try to identify okay, what is the particular regularity in this particular events or the data is there or in a particular form of a pattern will be there and then like okay fine mathematically you should try to model this particular thing and this model having a nothing but a, some parameters and that parameters can be estimated so we can say that okay, we learn the model from this particular data event or the experience and once the model is learned now we can use it for the nothing but various applications so either it is a face recognition or the speech recognition or the reconstruction application or the restoration is there or the video analytics are there okay fine where we can learn uh, many things from the nothing but the data and then we you can identify the particular events, you can generate the particular alert and so on. So yeah, as a summary, like, okay, fine, there are like, okay, different fields. So we can say that like, okay, the artificial intelligence or the machine learning, okay, fine, useful in all the such particular discipline or the different particular applications. So the, how the particular machine learns, so that just we pointed out, okay, like, okay, the model should be built up and the model must be learned to the nothing but from the, my experience events or the data. And then like, okay, fine, the models having a parameters and that parameters should be learned. So how we can learn all these particular things from the nothing but the data. So there are various forms of the learning is there. One is that like, okay, fine, uh, through the association rule. Will be there so different particular okay fine regression and the classifications way we can learn the nothing but from the particular data like for example it Like we want to use those particular intensity value and we want to classify it like it with the satellite image and we want to classify it in a nothing but a different particular areas it may be a farming area okay fine uh, like it is a water area it is a land area it is an encroachment it is a green area that we want to declare and it may be useful for the town planning or for the particular like okay some particular planning is required where the government agency can use these particular things so such problems are nothing but basically the classification problems where we try to recognize the particular patterns. So there are other applications like, okay, for the handicapped people, we want to like, okay, convert the nothing but the, our, our lip movement into the nothing but the speech or the, from the speech to we want to convert into the text or text to the You will be there. So basically, excuse me, we are not able to hear. Uh, we know we lost the audio actually.
Hello. Zavini uh, sir, you are not audible. Excuse me, sir, you are not audible. Uh, now the screen is visible. Uh, might be some network issue is there. Sir, the screen is visible now, but uh, audio is still missing. Uh, our session speaker is uh, rejoining in a few minutes. Please wait. Hello. Yes, sir, you are audible now. Okay, fine. So I'm sharing the screen again. So now screen is visible? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine. So there are so many different learning algorithms are there, and each learning algorithms how actually it is named. So the way they like okay, the learning is performed from the nothing but my data or the my particular events, whichever the data is like available. Okay, fine. So the names are there. So just we want to see that thing like okay, how the learning can be done it. So the basically learning like okay, if you broadly classify, then it is a regression and the classification. So the two ways are there, like we can find that from the data you can learn it. So the idea is what can I go to find here? I have something like okay, find uh, observation uh, y is there, and then the like okay x I want to learn it from the nothing but the y. So we have a nothing but some kind of the relationship will be there between the x and y. So how this particular relationship between the x and y can be like okay, find uh, exploit? I think uh, okay, fine. How the relationship between the X and Y can be exploited. So, in a various form, it is possible. So, one way is nothing but like, okay, fine, a regression, where like I have a, some relationship between the nothing but the X and Y. Like, for example, it is a linear equation is there, similar to the Y is equal to MX plus C is there. So, where the like, okay, fine, this W1 and the W0 are nothing but the basically the parameters of, and that particular parameter must be learned. So that we can say that, like, okay, fine, we have a nothing but a, some training data are there, x1, y, y, x2, y2, and so on. So using this particular training data, like, okay, we will try to identify the what is the value of the w1 and w0 is there. So that, like, okay, next time whenever the x is presented, okay, fine, we can find out the y, or the given a particular value of y, we can find out the x. So this is nothing but basically the uh, regression kind of things are there. Similarly, like okay, the same particular relationship between the X and Y can be represented in a form of a particular probabilistic way, but, but the output will be nothing but not a, a continuous value, but it will be a particular label. So, and that will be useful okay, like okay, for basically the class. So we want a classifications like okay, the face recognition is there. So we are trying to recognize the million particular okay, fine, uh, images 
of the different human beings are there. So the millions particular human beings are there. So million classes are there. Each particular image, we can say that it is a one particular class is there. And then we can recognize from the nothing but the given particular image. So the Y will be the nothing but the image where the X will be the nothing but the particular class label of particular persons. So it may be like, okay, the speech recognition is there where Y is nothing but my audio signal will be there. And X will be the nothing but the particular word as an output or the character as an output or as a nothing but a V speaker is nothing but it is okay speaking. So such way like, okay, we can find out okay, who is nothing but a person who is the particular image. And that is the reason like, okay, the relationship can be exploited as a nothing but a, okay, like class label. So in both the cases, like, okay, there will be the some parameters will be there. So either it is a relationship between the X and Y in a given a particular probabilistic way. So the theta will be the nothing but a particular parameters will be there. And these parameters will be expected from the nothing but a, to the training. So now there are two ways. One is nothing but a supervised training is possible and another is a unsupervised training. So in a, I want to see like, okay, today we'll just try to see that like, okay, how the supervised uh, training is possible. So basically either it is a regression or it is, it is a classification. We are trying to model the nothing but the data. That is nothing but a relationship between the X and Y. We are trying to model it with the nothing but the, in a probabilistic way or with the nothing but a, some kind of the equations. And that particular equations or the probability having a some set of parameters, like in a, here the W and W G O are the nothing but the parameters. Whereas in a probabilistic way, some particular like a Gaussian probability is there. Then the mean and the variance is nothing but the parameter. So the theta will be considered as a set of the parameters and that we want to try to learn it. In an unsupervised way, like, okay, fine. Uh, there is a training, like, okay, the pairs are not available in the sense, like only the observations of Y will be available, but like, okay, fine. There is no any such kind of the training where X and Y given as a nothing but a pair to you and try to learn the nothing but a relationship of between these particular things. So still like, okay, they are like, okay, so basically it is a clustering or it is also the, called the grouping. Like the best example is nothing but in a, a marriage wedding receptions, like if somebody says that like at seven o'clock, like, okay, you have to enter into the hall. And after entering into the hall, like we will see the different particular groups are formed. So how these particular groups are formed? Nobody is asked in invitations to go and the stand up with the nothing but a particular group. But all these particular groups are formed, okay, fine, with, based on a nothing but their attributes, their interest, their particular person is knowing, their particular business relationship, and they are trying to club together and they are standing in a particular group. So the as different particular groups are automatically formed. So such kind of the unsupervised learning is particular possible. So the here, like, okay, fine, the regression or the classification, how actually it is done in a, uh, learning point of view through the training that we will try to see that thing. And the mainly like what you find out how this particular learning, uh, you can do it through the different modeling. So one of the good ways is nothing but why? Because these events or the data are nothing but a random in nature. So the best way where the randomness comes, like you find we try to utilize the particular random theory or the probability theory. And in a probability theory, the main thing like, okay, fine, is a Bayesian theory. Okay, fine, is very popular. So we try to use the Bayesian particular uh, way of modeling the data and then try to solve the particular problem of learning using the nothing but a classification or the regression depending upon the type of the problem. So here the particular typically for uh, example purpose or for explaining, okay, fine, now X1 and X2 are nothing but the observed quantity. So it may be the like okay, image intensity value and sometimes the image intensity directly not used, then it may be the nothing but a some transform form of this particular image intensity value. Say for example, it is a Fourier transform, cosine transform, wavelet transform. So basically like, okay, fine, either it is a transform domain or either it is a raw data is observed. Okay, so that is nothing but the observable things are there. And what actually we want to do it, we want to try to assigning the same particular label to this particular data which are observed. So if it is a satellite image is there, pixel intensity values are observed. And then we want to say that okay, this particular segment is a nothing but a like, okay, uh, okay, this particular segment is nothing but particular uh, cop area or it is a water area or it is a 
particular CVK, yeah, okay, fine. So how do you now classify this thing? So basically, we are trying to give the nothing but a class label to the particular set of image pixels. And then we can say that like my image is segmented, my particular object detection is done. And later, like, okay, this may be useful for the different particular of my predictive applications. It may be like, okay, fine. Uh, we are trying to do the Niti IOG and the planning so that we can base on a satellite image. We can do the lot of particular export import control and then the different strategy or the planning can be done like these things. So the idea is what like okay in a random like okay, probability theory like how this particular observed data that is nothing but the y which is nothing but now a particular vector x1 and x2. How using this particular observed data you can find out which label I should assign it. So this particular C is nothing but basically the class label. So we need to nothing but some relationship that we want to exploit in a form of a probability that is also a particular functions. So the like, okay, the, this function should be evaluated and this function should be first, we have to assume it. So that is nothing but we are trying to model this particular relationship basically. So we are trying to assume the particular P as a function and in a probability, we call it as a probability density function. So how we can do that? So we can say that like, okay, if there are nothing but the two class problems are there, that can be extended to the nothing but the n number of classes. But just for the example purpose, a given a particular observed data, x1 and x2, we want to assign the particular label and there are only the two labels problems are there, then it is a binary classification problem. So either the C equal to zero or the C is equal to one is there. So the best way is nothing but like, okay, we must have nothing but the, we know that for my function value, probability value is between zero to one. So we can set up the 0.5 as a nothing but the threshold and say that like, okay, fine, uh, you try to substitute the value of the observed data, that is X1 and X2. And then you try to assign the value C is equal to one and try to evaluate the function. Similarly, C equal to zero, you try to evaluate the function. And if the like, okay, function with the C is equal to one is greater than the 0.5, because 0.5 is selected as a particular threshold value, then we can say that like, okay, my data should be labeled with the nothing but the class is equal to one. Otherwise, like, okay, we can do in a different way. That is nothing but we can try to compare the, if the 0.5 threshold is not like, okay, fine, a fit into the nothing but my application. Then we can say that like, okay, you try to evaluate the functions with the C is equal to one and the C is equal to zero. And then just compare it okay, like, okay, the function gives the maximum value with what particular value of the C. So if the, for the C is equal to one, it is going with the maximum value. Then we can say that like, okay, oh, this data maybe belongs to the nothing but the, okay, fine, class one. Then we can assign the labels to the nothing but the C is equal to one. So the, what is the nothing but a problem, right? So the problem, if you try to see the things like, okay, what will happen? Like, for example, like, I have nothing but the X, which is nothing but my data. If I will try to model these particular things, then there may be the random particular things will be there. So this is nothing but like, okay, the PX, okay, uh, how the particular X and uh, related with the nothing but the occurrence of its value and that we call it as a histogram or we can call it as a nothing but the frequency of occurrence of the X. Basically, it is nothing but a PDA. So it may take the nothing but a such kind of the particular top function. But now when we come to the particular modeling, then we can say that let we start modeling the things. And then like, okay, fine, this will be the like this particular things. Maybe, okay, fine, here yeah, the, the graph may be like, okay, fine, you may consider it this way. So now I have a nothing but a two particular, okay, fine, our shape will be nothing but a chosen. And then like, okay, can we model this particular data? So yes, so this is nothing but basically the particular shape we are very much familiar. So it is a Gaussian shape. So we can say that like, okay, fine, can we model with the nothing but the Gaussian? And the Gaussian needs a nothing but the some particular two variables. So if the like, okay, Gaussian is nothing but a uh, so probability, if you see, then there are two only the parameters are there. So it is a E raised to like, okay, fine, uh, X minus mu square divided by two sigma square is there. Where the mu is nothing but call the mean value and the sigma is nothing but its variance is there. So we can say that like, okay, fine, the my particular curve, which is nothing but the original PDF is there. Okay, fine, the original PDF is like these things. And now I can put it in a nothing but a two different uh, curve, bail set, and then each particular curve having a nothing but a different particular, okay, fine, mean and the variance is there. So we can now label it, it is a sigma zero, and this is a sigma one, 
it is a mu zero and the sigma mu one. So what does it mean like that? So if like okay, the x is data which is nothing but the given to me. Okay, fine. If it is a supervised training is there. So in a supervised training means what? Like that the, my data uh, because I have to learn it. So the relationship between the x and c may be known to me for the some particular sample values. And then the, like okay, the class levels are also known for that thing. So I have nothing but the, like okay, the training data is available. So what actually I can do it instead of like okay, if I'm identifying the particular okay, find our equations directly for the px, which may be nothing but very difficult things. So what we can do it like okay, fine. we can try to plot the nothing but x versus px, but try to model with the nothing but some particular probabilistic curve. And then we identify the, oh, it is nothing but a custom. So this is nothing but very hypothetical case we are taking. And then we are trying to model the data. So the particular X data is now modeled with the two particular set of equations. So what actually, if we want to learn it, and it is a supervised learning, what we will do it? We will try to collect the data, and that is nothing but a, which are nothing but a label uh, C equal to zero. And then interestingly, we can find out Oh, this particular curve of fall into the nothing but a this particular way. What does it mean that thing? Okay, this is a nothing but a, a particular class with the C is equal to zero is there. And then there is a nothing but like, okay, fine. Uh, uh, we will collect the nothing but a, like, okay, data with the C is equal to particular one. And then we try to plot this thing. Then it will be looks like this particular thing. So what does it mean? Okay, for the C is equal to zero, we can model with the nothing but a Gaussian. And if you say that it is a Gaussian, then like what actually we can do that? It has a nothing but its particular mean value. We will note down it the nothing but the mu zero, and it has a nothing but the variance is there. So it is nothing but a sigma zero is there. So same thing like okay, we will try to collect the data x from the, all the particular customers which are labeled with the nothing but a c is equal to one, and then it has a nothing but its mean value mu one and the sigma one is there. And then we can say that like okay, now I have a model. The my particular data with the nothing but the like, okay, only the two parameters are required. And then I can say something about the nothing but the particular data. So given a particular X, now I can say that thing, okay, which class it belongs to these things. So that is nothing but the possible. So what actually I've done, I've done in a two steps. Because it is a training, it is a supervised training. I will try to collect the, all the X data, which are nothing but a label C equal to zero. And then I will try to plot it. And then I will try to collect all the data which are nothing but a label C is equal to one, and then I will try to plot it. So I will now try to get the nothing but a like okay, find two set of the parameters. One is the nothing but like okay, find having a mean and the variance. Okay, fine. A sigma mu zero and the sigma zero is there. Hello. Hello. Yeah, please go ahead, sir. You are audible. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so it is a mu zero and the sigma zero is there, and another set of the data having a mu one and the sigma one are nothing but the parameters. So what does it mean? Basically, I have learned something. Okay, you give me the data, and then training. Okay, through the particular training, I found that when the like okay, fine, my mean is equal to zero and the sigma equal to zero, then this particular probability equation is nothing but like, okay, the, it is a px given c is equal to zero. Means what I have now substitute the mu and the sigma with the mu zero and the sigma zero. So this is a basically like, okay, we can say that thing, okay, like, okay, this is a probability equations, which is nothing but the belongs to the nothing but the class zero. And this probability is called the nothing but the likelihood. So basically it measure is okay, like, okay, how this particular show that thing or how much confident we are enough that okay, this particular X data is originated from this particular PDU. And the same thing like, okay, if we substitute the mu and the sigma with the mu one and the sigma one, so it is X minus mu one square divided by the two sigma one square. And here also the like, okay, it will be the sigma one. Then we can say that like, okay, we will get the nothing but the probability equations for the X given a C is equal to one. So now we have a two set of probability modeling is there. Through the supervised training, we are able to find out the mu zero, sigma zero, mu one, the sigma one. And then we have a nothing but a, a different particular analysis is possible based on this particular modeling. So what we actually, we are getting it. We are getting the two probability equation. So if you see the like, okay, fine, the particular probability theory, where the Bayesian principles are used or the Bayesian backward, like, okay, theorem is used. So what the base formula says that, Okay, if I want to say something about the, my class, 
given a particular observed data. So what actually I will try to use the base rule, which says that like, okay, the P X given C. So that is nothing but a P C divided by the nothing but a P X. So what is the advantage of this thing? So nobody will try to provide this particular relationship where they're like, okay, the PC given X is possible. So what actually people are trying to see that thing, okay, let model the nothing but the X. Okay, fine, using the some particular probability density function and try to derive the nothing but the, okay, fine, this three probability. So the PX is possible because it is a deterministic Y because we observe the data. So we can easily try to find out what is the nothing but my PX. What about the nothing but a PC? PC is nothing but basically it is called the a priori informations. Basically it is nothing but like, okay, fine, without observing the nothing but the X, I want to say something about the C. So for example, like, okay, I have a set of nothing but the customers are there. And I can say that like, okay, half of the customers are nothing but, a, okay, belongs to the class one and half of the customers are belongs to the class zero. Then we can say that like, okay, my probability of class C is equal to one is equal to 0.5 and my probability of class C equal to zero is 0.5. So it is a equal probable, okay, uniform, like, okay, probability is there. We can say that, oh, but not necessarily it should be always like this thing. It may happen that the 60 persons, persons are nothing but like, okay, class one, okay, fine. And they're like, okay, the 40% you know, people are nothing but a class particular, okay, fine, zero. So it is a C is equal to zero. So we, it may help, but if you know the nothing but a such kind of the information, then it is called the off information. But what will happen after like, okay, fine, uh, observing the particular data, my belief for the nothing but a particular customer will change. And that is a nothing but basically this particular probability. So I want to say something about the class for the particular cluster customer when I will observe the particular data. And this particular things is called the nothing but the posterior probability. So what is the nothing but the importance? Either it is a speech processing or the image processing or either any particular application where the X data is presented to me and then the like, okay, C may be a continuous variable in case of the regression and the C may be a label in case of the nothing but a classification problem. But I have a relationship between the C and X. I will try to model the particular my observed data X and then I want to find out the, what is the relationship between the, my particular C and X. And that is nothing but called the posterior probability. And then what actually you want to do there? Okay, like, okay, oh, given a particular X, that is the observed data, which label will be preferred? And that is a nothing but we are trying to maximize this particular function value. In the sense, okay, we try to assign the particular label, okay, C to the nothing but the X in such a way that this particular function value should be Maximize. And that is the reason that this particular problem shall be treated as a maximization problem. So we are trying to assign the particular label to a particular data. Okay, that is nothing but a maximizing the nothing but the, okay, or my posterior probability. So how we can take it further? So instead of like, okay, so are you getting the things or not? We will try to assign a particular label to a particular data X such that okay, this particular function should be maximized. So if you see the things, Okay, maximizing the PCX is equal to nothing but the, like, okay, fine, now maximizing the nothing but the, the right hand side quantity, that is nothing but the PC divided by the PX. Okay, fine. What does it mean? Okay, either you try to find out okay, which class should be assigned to this particular data by maximizing this particular function value. Very simple thing. I will try to put the C is equal to one, and then I will try to evaluate it. I will try to put the C is equal to zero, and I will try to evaluate this thing. And whichever value is maximum, Okay, fine, we will assign the particular label to that class. But this particular function is naturally like, okay, fine, very difficult in a, our practical situation. And that is the reason we try to solve using the base rule. And then we said that we try to solve using these three quantities. So we need a, this particular probability value, this probability value, and this probability. And so, okay, fine, it is difficult. Now, instead of one probability value, we have not here, but this becomes very easy. Why? That the first one, that is nothing but the up our informations. Okay, fine, that is a PC that may be available to a particular knowledge. And then we have acquired that knowledge and then we can say that like the 60% are okay, of class one and the 40% of class zero, then we can have a op information. But if the many times the op information is not there, still like, okay, fine, we can maximize these particular things. Okay, fine, that by the nothing but the maximizing the only this particular quantity. And this quantity is called the nothing but a likelihood.
Why it is? It is called the likelihood because we are trying to measure the likelihood of the class given a particular data. Means what? Okay, this data is originated from a particular class. What is the chances? What is the confidence of that thing? So we will try to evaluate the C is equal to one. Okay, and then we will try to also evaluate the C is equal to zero. And whichever is the thing, but the maximum. Okay, we can say that thing like okay, this data is originated from that particular class. So it is the same thing. We are trying to maximize the posterior probability is equal to the nothing but the maximizing this particular likelihood. So if the like okay, the PC is not available, then solving this particular maximizing the PC given X means what? It is a maximizing the PX given C. Then it is called the maximum likelihood approach. But if the PC is available, and then we try to maximize the product of the px given c into the pc then it is called the maximum of posterior approach why because the maximum of posterior is what posterior probability we are trying to maximize it and that is it is called the map so irrespective like okay an application either it is a image processing applications or speech processing application or any business applications try to say that why simple thing is nothing but happening like okay fine first try to find out the data Okay, fine. Uh, event X, that may be the particular describing the my event or the experience or it may be the data. This particular data can be represented in as it is. So that is nothing but the raw data will be there or this data can be represented. Okay, fine. Uh, using the nothing but the sum form that is nothing but called the transform domain. So that is nothing but you can take the DCT, we can take the wavelet transform, we can take the nothing but other transform and try to represent uh, in a, some another domain. So basically like, okay, uh, it may be considered as a nothing but basically the futures. So I have a nothing but my raw data or it may be a future. So the X is nothing but my data. So it means the raw data or it means the future data. It may be represented in any particular domain. And that X data is nothing but given to the nothing but my systems. Okay, fine. And then I want to say something about this particular data. So if it is nothing but giving me the some continuous output given a nothing but x as an input so what this system is doing the system is doing the some kind of the analysis it can be doing the some kind of the prediction and say something about the nothing but the output so if this output is nothing but a continuous value okay fine then we can call it as a regression if the c output is a nothing but basically a label suppose it is a character recognition so that they are say 26 characters are there so we can say that x is a nothing but my input image okay of the character and then we want to find out okay, like okay which character is that there's the labels 26 labels are there okay fine so this way like okay the regression and the classification problems are solved so what is this system is doing the system is trying to model the particular x and how this particular x is model just we try to see that thing okay you try to get the nothing but the px value and then there's px value okay fine we try to model it so what actually we want to do you want to try to say that okay, my output variable is nothing but a C. So there must be some relationship between the C and the X must be identified. And that particular expression is not available. Function is not available. And that is the reason we are taking the help of the base rule. And then say so they like, okay, oh, it is very easy to get the PX given C or the PC, where the PX is nothing but basically the normalizing constant, basically. Because it is a determinist thing, things, okay, fine, it is known now because the data is already observed. So basically this is a normalizing constant, we can say that. So we can say that like, okay, oh, trying to solve for the PC given as is proportional to the, trying to solve for this particular tooth product. And then we have seen that it is a ML approach or map approach. So in a map approach, both the things are available. Likelihood is also available and the operative information is available. In a ML approach, only the likelihood is available. So what is the nothing but important from the PX, we must get the nothing but a px given c and it becomes very easy try to see that px is becomes very easy and then try to get the nothing but a px given c it's also very easy so through the training or through the supervised training okay fine we can easily try to get the nothing but the parameters which are nothing but corresponding to the particular class c so here we have seen that we will collect the nothing but the data for the c is equal to zero and we can identify the c is equal to zero what is the mean value mu zero and the sigma zero for the c is equal to one we can find out this okay mu one and the sigma one and we can now okay find having a two functions or likelihood available px given c is equal to zero 
and the px given c is equal to 1 so that is a nothing but the uh, advantage of the nothing but like okay the base rule so that is nothing but the explain here so what is the problem with this thing the problem is like okay here say okay fine i have tried to learn the nothing but the x okay fine this is nothing but the px i have done the nothing but the supervised learning so i have nothing but the okay fine uh, this is nothing but the my px given c is equal to zero and this is nothing but like okay fine when a px given c is equal to one okay fine and that is nothing but my complete particular i like okay fine the px is there but so to the like okay supervised learning we are able to say something about the nothing but the parameters mu zero sigma zero mu one and the sigma one but what about this particular area and here you are going to make the particular error. What is the meaning of these things? So given a particular value x, okay, fine. So okay, x is value is presented here. Now you try to evaluate the px given c is equal to zero and try to evaluate px given c is equal to one. Why? Because our decision, what it says that okay, we will try to assign the particular class label okay to a particular data which maximize this function, which is nothing but a proportional to the nothing but a maximizing the px given okay fine a c okay fine that is nothing but the maximizing the likelihood so we will try to evaluate both these things so at this particular moment if you see that px given c is equal to one is a higher value compared to the px given c is equal to zero but this particular data maybe belongs to the nothing but the class zero but still because this value is larger we will try to assign the class level c is equal to one and that is a nothing but the chances like okay we are making the mistake we are making the particular error and that is called the probability of error that we are trying to okay fine uh because of the nothing but our methodology we are trying to okay fine uh have a nothing but a such kind of the decision error will be there same thing like okay fine here the x value is double scale here then here the like okay px given c is equal to one is less and the px given c is equal to zero is nothing but a larger value but this data maybe belongs to the class one but we will now assign it to the nothing but the class zero so the particular like okay if you see this thing this particular area where the nothing but the my two models are intersecting with each other okay there is a chances of nothing but making this particular error and so that is nothing but like okay this area should be minimized so the probability error is nothing but a what it's an integration of this particular area under this particular curve which is nothing but the intersecting area and that we should try to minimize it. So our model is nothing but like, okay, fine. Such that like, okay, fine, we can minimize it. Then the probability of error will be nothing but a minimum. Are you getting the point or not? Hello? Yes, sir, you are already mentioned. Yeah, okay, fine. Then the, like, okay, fine, I want to take it. So this is nothing but a, okay, fine. I'll explain in a nothing but all this particular slide. So I just try to present it, okay, to the nothing but whiteboard. Because it will take the much time then okay fine so all whatever that we have discussed it like okay fine so there may be uh two class problems can be extended to the nothing but a k class problems and the pci given x should be maximized and we for which particular value of ck this is maximizing okay fine we can assign the class level ck that is a kth class to that particular x so that is nothing but the uh, idea behind the okay fine learning from the model and that uh, so how this artificial intelligence come into the picture so basically the data we are trying to model and this model parameters we are trying to learn it so may, it may happen that okay, my model is not chosen properly and then they're like okay fine what will happen when you try to test it you are going to get the nothing but a particular error and at that time you will find out okay, like okay fine my model is not working properly and that i have to okay fine uh, work with the nothing but some different models i have to model the data in a different particular functions or the probability density function so that is nothing but the data validation is very important so always the my data whenever i want to set up the particular model i must have a training data and the testing data will be there and then i will try to find out okay, whatever the training i have taken okay fine i am able to test it properly or not with whatever the accuracy objective parameters are there so that will validate the nothing but my particular model so many times like okay the same particular maximizing the posterior probability can be dealt with the nothing but uh, uh, minimizing the risk so what will happen like okay if you try to okay fine get the particular data x 
and this particular data X is labeled to a particular class I instead of the nothing but a class J. So what will happen? The class J is nothing but a correct one, but the I class is nothing but not correct one. So what will happen? Assigning this particular X to this particular class, I'm going as some particular error, and that error will make cause the nothing but a some loss in a nothing but my business. My prediction will create nothing but a some kind of the problem. Like it is a natural disaster management is there like such kind of the okay fine or hurricane or some kind of the okay natural such events happen and if we make the wrong decision then what will happen okay fine same thing like okay my missile is fired and it is auto guided and like a ballistic missile kind of thing and if recognizing the wrong target then what will happen so that is nothing but the same thing is happening here so what actually because the wrong class is assigned to this particular data there will be the risk associated so what we do like okay we try to minimize this particular way so we try to either the maximize the particular posterior probability okay which is same as nothing but the minimizing the risk by uh, for which like okay we are trying to assign the particular class table to the data that that risk should be minimized so both these particular problems are equivalent to each other and that can be proved here with the nothing but the help of the nothing but the Gaussian PDF, like okay, fine, that is nothing but the explained here. But the idea is what either it is a minimization problem or you can treat it as a nothing but the maximization problem. Now, uh, just we want to take it. So this is nothing but like okay, the Gaussian density function is there, and how the parameters will be estimated from the data. So the x data is given to me. I can take the like okay, the parameters are nothing but the mu and the sigma is there. So it's very easy. I will take the like of the final derivative of the particular functions and I will try to uh, take the derivative with respect to the particular parameters equate equal to zero. I will try to find out what is the value of the mu. Same thing like okay, I will take that particular functions, take the derivative with respect to the sigma and then we try to equate equal to zero. We will try to find out the sigma. Okay, fine. Head. So the this way the parameters estimations will be done. So the like okay, the model having a some parameters and that parameters can be learned from the nothing but the data, which is nothing but the mu and the sigma is nothing but the examples are given here. So that can be extended to the nothing but the m number of classes are there. And similar like okay, the maximizing the posterior probability, minimizing the risk, that can be further extended with the nothing but the help of the nothing but the discriminate function. So you might have heard about the linear discriminate functions. So what actually we want to assign the particular x, okay, some label that is a nothing but a class. So what actually we have a nothing but a some relationship between the nothing but a X, like, okay, fine, we have seen the classification problem where the probability we have seen. Same thing like, okay, we have a some particular function G will be there, but this function we are not calling it as a nothing but a probability function, but we will call it as a nothing but a discriminate function. So the idea is what okay, these particular functions will try to discriminate the one class from the other class. So there may be a particular function which will define the particular vision and this region should be defined in a such a way that okay, the distance between these two regions should be as far as apart, so that we can, we can clearly discriminate whenever the x is presented to me. I will try to put it in a function g1 that is nothing but a c1 given x, and I will try to put the g2 that is nothing but a c2 given x. And in both these particular functions, I will try to substitute the my x, and these functions below this particular data belongs to a particular class that functions will give me the like, okay, maximum value, which is similar to the maximum of posterior probability. So basically we are trying to define the particular function G that is a discriminate function. Okay, that we try to maximize the discriminations between the nothing but the two classes. So uh, through the like, okay, the Gaussian example, we can do that thing like uh, this maximum discrimination, okay, discriminators uh, like a discriminant function is nothing but the same as nothing but to maximize the posterior probability. But at present, like, okay, we are trying to, okay, fine, ignore that particular thing at present. Similarly, like, okay, for the regression also, there will be the relationship will be there. So here the, like, okay, fine, the relationship between the X and Y, okay, so here the observation parameter R is considered, which is nothing but Rx plus something value will be there. In short, my particular output observations is dealing with the nothing but a particular a quantity which is a x that I want to learn it. Okay, fine. With the nothing but the some set of parameters are there. So this theta may be a like okay, fine. If it is a linear equation, equation will be there. Then y is equal sorry r is equal to 
mx plus c kind of the modeling will be done. So the idea is what the, what are the m and c are there, which are nothing but a theta parameters are there. So there is a relationship between the x and r is there. Only difference between the classification and adjacent this r may be the continuous value is there. But we are trying to model this particular f. So this particular function is not known to us. The best way is nothing but we can utilize the neural networks, convolution neural network, probabilistic neural networks, radial basis functions, where we know that thing that there is a, some relationship between the X and R, but we don't know the exactly particular. So where the neural network can be utilized, such kind of a thing. But if the, like, okay, the F is known to us, very easy, like, okay, fine, because the Y is equal to MX C plus C kind of the things are there, then M and C parameters can be evaluated to the nothing but the training. And then like, okay, fine, we can use this particular model for the prediction of the nothing but the X, or we can find out the value Y when the X value is presented to me. But the idea is what, okay, like, okay, if this model is very complex and many times like, okay, fine, the model is not giving me the correct output, then we have to change the model. And at that time, like, okay, the trial and error will not help actually. So in such a case, like okay, neural networks, genetic algorithms, such kind of optimization techniques will help in modeling and try to solve the particular problem. The last thing that I want to touch up with the things like, okay, fine, that is nothing but a learning from the image. Okay, uh, something is nothing but a GMM kind of the things I want to do. So what is the like, okay, the Gaussian mixture model is there. So just I have given an example, okay, like okay, the PX data is there and this particular X data, I have okay, plotted it the curves and then say that like, okay, this curve, which is a PX, if it is a two class problem is there, then I will try to model with the nothing but a sum set of the probability equation. So here it is nothing but a class C is equal to zero and the class C is equal to one is there. But my real life problem is not such simple and easy. So my particular curve, okay, between the like, okay, that is a PX that may not be like, okay, as simple it will like be like this thing. So if such a particular like okay fine my density function is there for the x, my histogram will be there for the x. In such a case, how do you try to model it? In such a case, like what actually we can do that this will act as a nothing but basically the animal. So what we will do, we will not take the nothing but the one or two particular Gaussian, but we will take the multiple Gaussian. So this is a first Gaussian. And then we will take the nothing but the second Gaussian. Then we will take the third Gaussian, fourth Gaussian, okay, the fifth Gaussian, the sixth Gaussian, okay, fine, and seventh Gaussian, and so on. So what we will happen? If you see the peak value, okay, just you try to draw the dotted line connecting the all the particular peak in a particular like okay fashion. We will see that okay, this is the same envelope where the nothing but my px exactly original data is following. What does it mean? Okay, like, okay, the same particular curve, which is this one, okay, fine. Now can be modeled with the nothing but the summations of the nothing but like, okay, fine, uh, many particular, okay, fine, are uh, Gaussian functions. And each particular Gaussian, I can say that it is a GI, and each Gaussian having a nothing but its mean and its particular variance is there. So if this is not nothing but a mixture of the nothing but the different Gaussians. So there are M number of Gaussians are there. So I is equal to one, two, M will be there. So M number of Gaussians will be modeling the nothing but my PX data. Now what will happen? Okay, some particular Gaussian is nothing but a redundant. So what actually for each Gaussian, we will try to find out the, its mean and the variance. And from this particular mean and variance, we can find out the its significance of this particular model. And if this particular Gaussian is not contributing in my particular data, I can, okay, fine, avoid it. I can just truncate it or I can, remove that particular thing. And many times like, okay, fine, two Gaussians can be clubbed together and we can form, form a nothing but a new particular, like, okay, the functions, and we can estimate, uh, estimate the new particular set of parameters. So the idea is what, like, okay, fine, is this particular Gaussian parameters, so now it is a GMM parameters, it is called the Gaussian mixture model parameters. So now there are nothing but a M number of parameter set will be there, mu n and the sigma i is there. So that you have to learn it from the nothing but the data. So where such things will be useful like that? For example, it is a face recognition is there. So that like a face having a different particular parts are there and different shapes are there. At the same time, so different illuminations is also there. So the my particular, each pixels, each particular part of the face 
cannot be illuminated with nothing but the same particular light. So in such a case, like my intensity value also varies from the one pixel to the another pixel. Though it is a thin region will be there, okay, fine, or lip region will be there, but the lip pixel having nothing but a different intensity value compared to the next particular intensity value. So in such a case, like, okay, fine, such a particular Gaussian mixture model will try to help me try to model the intensity value, not as nothing but a one mixture, one or two particular Gaussian, but multiple Gaussians, and then try to find, uh, estimate the mu i and the sigma i set of parameters. And then you can do the further operations, which will allow you, okay, which will allow you to like, okay, fine, uh, model the my original phase. Okay, fine. In such a way that like, okay, fine, we can classify it as a nothing but a ear portion, it is a leap portion, and then like, okay, fine, from all this particular club together, and then we can set up the nothing but the one particular face as a one particular vision. So this is a nothing but a story about the one particular person face vision, but there will be the multiple face visions will be there. So each face vision again will be model as nothing but like, okay, fine, a GMM model. So complete image now consists of the different GMM, like, okay, fine, uh, models where the like different mixtures, Gaussian probability density functions are considered. And then you try to label the nothing but a particular face image to a particular class or particular persons. So the GMM is like widely used for the signal processing, speech processing, image processing, video analytic purpose, and so on. So the like all like okay, the discussion is nothing but okay, how the artificial intelligence can be used in an image processing. So the idea is like okay, the image should be model. So either it is an image reconstruction is there restoration is there so you have a different particular modeling task is also there like for example uh, the image can be modeled with the base or nothing but a micro random field also so this is again a like okay fine now probability functions is there mr micro random field and then like okay the complete image that each and every pixels okay should be nothing but okay we are assigning the particular label so suppose it is an image restoration problem is there what does it mean? Okay, there may be the original image was there, which was nothing but a very much corrupted. So the like, okay, it may be the tone or it may be the nothing but the like, okay, because of the aging effect, the image like, okay, is not as the original one. So what the, each particular pixel is nothing but taking the particular 8-bit value, then we know that it will take the value from 0 to 255 only. So given a particular, uh, particular observation, that is a current image, which is nothing but not a proper image, we want to restore it. What actually we have to do? We have to nothing but uh, assign a particular intensity value to this particular pixel. Then how we can assign it? So we can take an example. Suppose that it is a, a two by two image is there. So total four pixels are there. So in a four pixels, if the each pixel is nothing but a binary one, so it is taking the zero and one, then totally this pixel will take the two values. This value will take two values, this first value, two values, and these two values. So how many different particular uh, uh, configurations or uh, like okay fine uh, images are possible one particular image will be the geo 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 another image will be the geo 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 one and so on so total two is to four so that is a 16 such particular images are possible so given a particular uh, observations we want to identify the which image is correct one so basically we are trying to restore the original image by assigning the particular pixel intensity value so this intensity value we can call it as a nothing but a label so there's this particular MRF that is nothing but a Markov random field, which will treat it as a nothing but a labeling problem. So what actually we are doing it? Here also the image intensity value is labeled like a model using the some particular probabilistic equations. And here it is a Markov process is used. And there is a something called the Gibbs distribution will be there. So basically it is model with the help of the Gibbs distribution. And then like, okay, fine, uh, the label will be assigned. So this label, okay, fine, finally to be identified in such a way that okay, that will give me the nothing but a correct image intensity value. So that is nothing but the image restoration. Same thing with the nothing but like, okay, can be extended such work of the labeling to the nothing but a segmentation problem. So if the like, okay, fine, uh, this is a nothing but one phase, this is another phase. So we can say that like, okay, each phase should be nothing but a segmented. So in a segmented, all the pixels should be given a one particular label. So this is a first person, so all the pixels of the face should be given a one 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 label. Another pixels, all the pixels should be given a label two two two. So this is nothing but again a labeling problem. So such kind of the labeling problem is there. 
where we want to model the image intensity value with the help of the nothing but like okay fine here the MIF is used. So the GMM, MIF, all these things are nothing but basically allowing you to model the image basically. And so given a set of particular training image, now if I want to model it so that like okay I'm doing the training and if it is model using the MIF then whatever the MIF parameters are required like okay fine that should be evaluated or estimated. If it is a Gaussian mixer model, then the GMM parameter should be nothing but estimated. And then finally, we can say that we have learned the such particular models. We have learned from the set of images, and then we can use it for the nothing but a particular our applications. So I think like okay, fine. Uh, I, I will open the nothing but a session for the like okay, fine. Uh, question answer. Okay, fine. Uh, we, uh, Professor Vipin, if you want anything more, I can uh, discuss that thing. But this is nothing but overall idea we are trying to give it. Okay, how the artificial intelligence help in the image processing. So basically, like okay, our experience, our data, which is now available for the image processing in a form of a video or the images, and that I want to model. So that now data is nothing but a pixel intensity value. So either in a raw data or either it is in a transform domain. Okay, fine. We try to get that particular input in a form of a future vector pixel intensity value, and then we are trying to model it. And that model makes the nothing but my particular task becomes easy. Why? Because the model parameters are learned. So I'm learning it from the data so that like I can use it for the nothing but the further prediction, for the analysis, for the recognition purpose, and so on. So I can I can like okay uh, conclude the my particular talk with the things. So open for the like okay, the question answer. So 10 minutes we can take it question answer. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, within this side, uh, actually, means uh, even like from students' perspective, when they use any neural network toolbox or anything, uh, yeah. for them it is mostly a black box kind of thing, and they yeah, are yes. least aware and even not interested to know about what are the basic mathematical intricacies which go behind yeah. getting that optimum output. So, means this session was really means useful even for me and all the participants. Uh, Participants, if any queries are there, you can ask now. You can unmute yourself or uh, type your query in chat box. Nothing is understood, sir. <laughs> no question. <laughs> <laughs> no, or everything is understood. <laughs> okay. uh, Dr. Mukesh, uh, actually, most yeah. of the uh, uh, sessions will have. Uh, theory kind of stuff but uh, we appreciate the mathematical stuff more uh, in this regard actually highly appreciate it if first time in uh, the ftps i am listening to more mathematical stuff thank you sir. i'm very happy actually <laughs> so any applications or anything like any point of discussion that we can discuss uh, uh, Dr. Mukesh, actually, in the first 10 minutes, uh, kind of some uh, uh, one chart was there like machine learning, uh, 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 what do you say, like concepts, like there was a list. Would you mind uh, showing that slide once? Like you have that linear regression cluster, all the 10, 15 uh, names were there actually. Okay, so I'll learning there. algorithms. Yes, learning yes, algorithms. yes. Exactly, yeah. We just missed during that audio issue actually. Okay, okay. So. Uh, this one, like a uh, set on. So this exactly. is not a complete list, but uh, it is from the Google only. So okay. It's not a complete list. <laughs> yeah. Because, because uh, sparse dictionary stuff, I'm just looking. Uh, yes, yes. Compression, yeah. Time. Compression, yeah. Because these things which we usually work on sparse signal processing, there we had, but dictionary learning this is the first time I'm actually looking. The rest of the uh, concepts yes, we have yes. gone through and a little bit familiar, but sparse yeah. dictionary learning mostly I'm hearing for the first time. So I just want to uh, have so, a look at uh, it. Once. Just as a layman, sir, I want to just uh, say something about the sports. So why actually the compressive sensing is there, no, sir? So the idea is what like okay fine I, I can get the nothing but the same image to the k number of sensors. But the same data if I will get to the nothing but a k dash where the k dash is nothing but a less than k. 
but the KDS should give me the same set of information that I can achieve it to the K. So I can say that I'm doing the compressive sensing and that is nothing but the main purpose of the sparse directories, the sparse representation of my data. So either it may be the data can be presented in a some kind of the like, okay, the PCA analysis, you are doing it. So we are trying to project it into the nothing but some another domain where the dimension directionality is possible. So I can say that my data, you know, original it may have nothing but the M dimension, but now in a nothing but a some another domain, it is nothing but a sparse representation that is nothing but the M dash will be there, which is nothing but a very less than the M. So such sparse representation of the data, which will try to reduce the computational complexity because the, in a future set, if you see that uh, the large dimension is there in terms of like okay, the wavelet coefficient or DCT coefficient. So you have a nothing but a, a thousand parameters or something will be there that can be reduced. So that is, I think, but the advantage of the sparse representation, sparse dictionary based learning. So one way this is going to help for mapping also, right? So one uh, way of uh, yes, dimensionality reduction kind of stuff. Yeah, so. Okay, fine. Can we uh, implement the same for signal processing also? If any idea is there, would you mind throwing so, some light? So what is the applications? Because we have to see the thing, okay, how we can exploit this theoretical part into that particular data domain. Okay, like, so if it is a simple, like okay, the class re uh, recognition is there, where the musical classes are there. Okay. Like, uh, and something like that. So I can do the sparse representation of the same frequency domain, sir. Okay. So, so basically what it means that uh, we should know uh, the, what do you say, like uh, the exact data set which we are trying to apply. So there only we will uh, be able to identify the feasibility of the algorithm, right? Exactly, sir. Like, because yes. otherwise, sir, it will not give the proper, like, okay, my, the performance uh, evaluation kind of thing. Uh, whatever actually I want it. So at least I should know that okay, the frequency domain, like, okay, music signal is there. So the frequency is the thing, but the main particular part is there. So like, okay, the frequency, I can do the lot of things. Okay, the, 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 because the compressive sensing is fundamental things are nothing but the frequency sensing only, basically. So uh, how we can try to compress the different particular bands and then try to represent it. So definitely such kind of the knowledge will help us to like, okay, to formulate the problem. The, the, actually, there are certain limitations also, as you highlighted, like uh, we can't use the uh, image processing techniques for uh, radar signal processing. This is another kind of subject. See, normal uh, uh, signal processing is a little bit different from radar signal processing because yeah, the representation yeah. of the uh, components signal, or yes. labels itself will be completely different. Suppose yeah. if we go with RGB here uh, in image processing, yeah, but yeah. in radar signal processing and all, we will go with polarization component so it might be as you highlighted depends on case to case basis yeah but yeah. so that so people are also doing like a sophisticated a sauna areas are there for the navigation purpose tracking purpose submarine yeah. and all these things so i can create the sauna particular images also from the sauna sensors so same thing for the radar also if the polar ports are available phase shift available we can have nothing but a some kind of the representative but how to interpret it that is nothing but now a research. Okay, like, okay, fine. Oh, I can find out like how, what it conveys, what particular polar angles are there, what kind, kind of the angles representation will be there. So that is nothing but a challenging thing. So. Exactly. exactly. Lead to the new direction of the research. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your insights are highly appreciated, uh, Dr. Mukesh. Yes, Very no, highly no, appreciated. No, no, please don't call the doctor, Dr. Mukesh. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No issues, yeah. Hello. Thank you, sir, for your valuable uh, insights yeah. into the topic and also taking out time from your busy schedule. Uh, I thank you from uh, complete Triple IT and family and all the participants. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay. Uh, for all the participants, I'll be